Okay, we are back at day two for SAP Sapphire. This is the Cube SiliconAngle.tv's extensive coverage of SAP Sapphire Conference here in Orlando, Florida. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconAngle.com, and I'm joined with my co-host. I'm Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org. John, day two, uh, <laughs> we saw Jim Hageman Snabe talking uh, this morning at his keynote. I thought he was very confident. Uh, I thought he, his, his message resonated with the crowd. I think even a little bit more so than McDermott yesterday. What do yeah. you think? Dave, so I'm actually going to uh, take off in about five minutes to actually do one-on-ones with Bill McDermott and um, Jim Schnabe. So um, I'll get the lowdown even further, but the keynotes were impressive. Yesterday was the theatrical performance of Bill McDermott, the showman. You know, they were joking about his hair. He's the salesman. He's got operational skills. Schnabe's the brain trust on the product side. And, and, and basically, you heard a couple different things from him. Um, last year, when he was here inside the Cube, when he sat down with us, he talked about the innovation strategy. He used those same words again this year, innovation strategy in particular, a lot. He must have said the innovation strategy at least a dozen times that I counted. Um, and clearly, enabling customers to be more productive. He talked about sustainability of the future. He talked about connecting the, the virtual world with the physical world, and that's been the high-level theme of SAP. But really, he highlighted four categories that he outlined for SAP's leadership on the product and execution, and that is applications. They're an application company, pretty obvious. That's number one. Number two, analytics. Real-time, speed of business, those kinds of insights, predictive analytics. Two is analytics. Three, mobile devices. He said mobile will be will be everywhere in five years, and that is absolutely the case. Um, so mobile, so apps, analytics, mobile devices, four databases and technology. Sidebase acquisition was the beginning of a massive sea change for SAP. Now with HANA, it's everything HANA, 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 and, and that's going to be the core thing. So the database performance, and, and that's the core message. And finally, fifth category of innovation for SAP is around the cloud. So all that's wrapped around the cloud. He even joked, be a rainmaker in your organization. Uh, you know, don't the, start a rain dance when you see a cloud coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. so, don't just do any cloud. So intelligent yeah. business was the theme. I mean, what, what, what we're hearing from SAP is be, be an intelligent business organization, create value, value creation. That's the message. Um, and they're obviously investing. And, you know, I think sales are being cannibalized a bit now that they're transitioning from on-premise to cloud. Again, another key theme that we've been hearing from SAP. I mean, if you go back three years, you talk to anyone at SAP, and everything was on-premise, on-premise, on-premise. Now it's all cloud, cloud, mobile. So that obviously will have an impact to their, to I think, sales. Um, I think you're seeing them really invest there. So Schnabe made a promise to the customers that were in the audience. He said that all solutions will be mobile, cloud, and in-memory enabled. 100%. So I think, John, you know, I know you're running to, to talk to those what guys. What would you ask them? Here's the question I would ask them, because Lar Lars uh, Delgard gave a great talk. He's from Success Factors, very motivating, very visionary. He built that company from scratch over the last 10 years. Now, Success, su success Factors is SAP's cloud strategy. Now, what they're doing is they're, they made the promise that they are moving their core HR, their core apps, into the cloud. Now that is a non-trivial exercise, and I want to know, it reminds me, John, of Oracle's Fusion Apps effort. I mean, a huge development effort that took six years. Um, are we going to have to wait that long for that type of integration? It's a non-trivial integration. Why will they succeed at that? And, and, how long? And, so how long? Yeah, how long is it going to take? And, 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 and when will we actually see true uh, of, of, you know, applications, core applications in the cloud? I mean, the corollary question there is, aren't success factors built applications from the ground up specifically for the cloud, mm -hmm. right? SAP was built for on-premise. So what's the strategy there? Is it to somehow evolve the core apps into the cloud, or is it to build them from scratch? That's really what I'd like to know. And how long is that going to take? That, to me, is the key fundamental question of, 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 so of SAP's cloud paper. strategy. Clean sheet of paper. Yeah. Or that, yeah, that paper. was Success Factor's advantage was they had that clean sheet of paper. And so what you're seeing now is Lars basically talked about this. They're bringing all their core applications to the cloud. Really, that's a that's the key issue is how long is that going to take? What are we going to see? You know, what's the complexity there? And uh, 